You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Are you looking to heal yourself? Would you like to know and expand your gifts? Not sure what your purpose is on this planet? Carolee and Julia are here with the answers. A Call to Heal provides information and energy to make great change in your life. So let's welcome those two powerful energy movers, Julia and Carolee. Hi, welcome everyone to A Call to Heal. I'm your host, Carolee Schloss. And hello, everyone. I'm your host, Julia Stubbe, and you are tuned in to the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And we are grateful and appreciate each and every one of you who are listening live or to the recording. And we just want to thank our uh, meditator who comes, our guest meditation facilitator. We're so grateful to you, and we're just grateful for everyone that calls in. Thank you all for it's because of you that we have this show. And for those of you who would like a healing for us to facilitate with you, please call in at 866-451-1451. And Julia, you wanted to talk about your um, upcoming yeah. event you're having? Yeah, I have a group transformation program starting um, the beginning of August, August 5th. And it's been awesome. I've done, run like several of these groups. We have amazing magic happen. And if you register... Before July 25th, you can save $100. Woohoo! So that's at juliastubi.com. And if you have any questions Excellent. about the program, just you know, email me or check out the website and go from there. How about you, Carly? Anything coming up? Well, all our events are full that we had, and we're in the middle of them now, so we're busy there. So the only thing I would be saying is that we're open for individual healings. Just go on my website, and you can get the information there at carolyschloss.com. And I also offer individual sessions as well. Okay, so Carly, each week we start off with guided imagery. And all we need to do is just listen, use our imagination, and we'll move, move through this. And this week we have Shakira Ma, and she's going to lead us on an awesome meditation. Shakina, are you there? Yes, Shakina is here. Thank you so much for having me. Excellent. So we just want to remind everybody, if you're not in a safe place... Like if you're driving, let's not close our eyes and go to other realities. Um, and mm-hmm. for those of you who are in a safe place, feel free to close your eyes and enjoy the experience. So go ahead. Take it away, Shakina. Thank you so much. So yes, closing your eyes, if that feels appropriate for you. We are going to place our hands upon our heart. And I want each of us to take some long, nice, deep breaths, just breathing in to the count of four, two, three, four, and exhaling, two, three, four, just allowing your breath of life to like the waves of the ocean ebb and flow, nice, long, and deep, deep as the ocean. And we are really feeling into and tuning into our sacred hearts here. For this is the realm of the fifth dimension, the fifth dimensional energies, where all duality comes together and exists within the sacred circle of life, within the law of oneness. Now, I want you to see before you as you gaze through your ajna, tuned into your heart, we're going to gaze through our third eye, our ajna, and see before us a beautiful, beautiful treasure chest. And as we gaze upon this ancient, sacred, beautiful treasure chest, I want you to know 
that this treasure chest is actually within you. That your own chest holds this beautiful treasure chest and that the treasures found inside is your very own sacred heart and the kingdom of heaven itself. Here in your sacred heart not only lies the riches of love and compassion, but a beautiful crystal oscillator, a beautiful crystal star that has been embedded into your heart and that shines with incorruptible light. As you begin now to unlock and unblock this treasure chest, See if you can feel into your heart, into this treasure chest, and find the sacred treasures within you. Within you lies all your healing. Within you lies the keys to creation itself, the keys to open the doors to perfect health and perfect wealth. Yes, these are the codes of creation that are held within this crystal oscillator, this crystal star that dwells within your sacred treasure chest. Allow for this beautiful starlight to repair and rejuvenate, to reprogram your body, your mind, and your spirit to perfect health and perfect wealth. For it is our innate and inherent gift to be abundant in all ways. As we allow for the riches held within to come pouring out, we release and we reveal our soul, our own soul star to our sacred family of life to all of our divine relations. And as we reconnect now in this sacred union, we can feel the welcoming of all the great spirits, welcoming us home, welcoming us to our hearts, welcoming us to the kingdom of heaven that truly does lie within us. Here now we ignite our divine potential, allowing for each and every one of us to be transformed, just as the Buddhist monks do as they ignite their own rainbow bodies of light, transcending all lower energy and ascending to 5D and the fifth dimension. This is an invitation to all to unlock and unblock our divine potential and to arrive into the fifth age of peace, to paradise. All are welcome. And as we hold our hearts in the sacred treasured chest and open ourselves to our own vast riches and beauty, the jewels of wisdom that lie within. May we share with all creation, with all our friends and family, these riches, for we know that there is no shortage, no lack, and no limitation in this grand realm of divinity. A whole, all my relations. Oh, Shakina, that was beautiful. My heart is so expanded. Thank you for that. Mm, that was just gifted to me. I tried to write it down as fast as I could before this. It's funny how the spirits just come in <laughs> as the energy builds and then have all their little messages. <laughs> so yeah. thank you to the angels thank who you. have shared this symbol with us yeah. all, that our hearts and are a treasure chest. Yes, and that beautiful star inside us that we all are, that magnificent star being. Thank you. 
so, so grateful and for that. To the work of Greg Braden, who really has shared with creation that we do in fact have a crystal oscillator, like a quantum computer within our own hearts, holding the codes to our homeostasis, to our divine healing that's inherent to us all, innate within us all, homeostasis. Yes, and we're all becoming aware. What a beautiful time we are in. Yes, yes. So, it is um, a good time. Shakina, can you share with our listeners um, a little bit about yourself? I would love to. Yes, I come from Laguna Beach, California, and uh, as a child, I grew up really believing that I was a mermaid. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but it took me a very long time, and I, I'm actually quite still convinced I am, in all truth and in all honesty. But, um, you know, I, I grew up just really at one with the ocean, and, and even when I wasn't swimming in the ocean, it felt like I was in an ocean of emotions, you know, just feeling and, you know, always kind of tuned in like an empathetic sponge to all the energy that is, you know, in creation. And so, uh, you know, I, I grew up and studied all forms of different shamanism and the Hawaiians and their Huna powers and medicine and teachings and really just exploring anything and everything that kind of brought back that feeling of oneness that I had as a child. And, uh, you know, as we age, we kind of have to walk away from that innocence and and learn how to adult ourselves. Um, so I thought it would be fun to stay as a child. So I therefore worked in a Waldorf school as a, a preschool teacher and cared for the, you know, two and a half to five year old children uh, just so I could dwell like Jesus said, you know, you must enter into the kingdom as a child. And I was quite um, determined to stay in that childlike innocence and magic and wonder. So, you know, I've studied different forms of uh, wisdom traditions and worked as a teacher at a Waldorf school and moved to Canada here at uh, first day with 9-11. Uh, as we all watched the Twin Towers blow up, I had woke up to my first day here in Canada feeling quite grateful uh, to be here and safe. And um I've lived here for about almost 20 years, raised two beautiful daughters, and uh, have engaged in healing and meditation for almost my whole life. <laughs> so I'm quite comfortable with it. So Shakina, what is the main message you have for humanity? My message is that we are waking up from a long and dormant sleep where we have perhaps been almost like in a trance or a Spell, if you will. And we are now coming, you know, as you can dispel a spell, we are dispelling the spell of ignorance and illusion, and we are making ready as the Hopi, the Hopi nation has taught of their fifth age of peace within the Hopi prophecy, that we are about to ascend into this great quantum leap of evolution and ignite, like I said, the Buddhists do in their rainbow bodies of light to really uh, unleash our divine potential. So this is the time to prepare and to entrain ourselves into these high frequencies of love and light. And Shakina, how would our listeners get a hold of you if they wanted to get in contact with you? Do you have a website or what's the best way to get a hold of you? Yes, I have a website. It's called ascension.aum.ca. I do readings. I'm a 5D Ascension coach. And people can purchase my book, which goes into this whole journey of discovery. And that is on my website as well. Or if even found at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, etc. It's called Frequency, the Hour of Power Has Come. And on that, we need to take a short commercial break. And then coming up after the break, we'll be taking our first caller. I'm your host, Julia, with my co-host, Cara Lee. And we are here at A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And we are here to facilitate a healing for you. So please give us a call at 866-451-1451. We'd love to have you on the show. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? 
After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it mike zorick a three-time california state champion in greco roman wrestling at 114 pounds mike blind since birth was born in hartford connecticut he was a six-time national placer including two seconds two-thirds and two-fourths he also won the veterans folk style wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBC. BBM Global Network. And welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julian Carolee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we had a powerful heart meditation with Shakina Ma, and we are so grateful for that. And we're ready to take our first caller, and I believe we have Sue on the line. Are you there, Sue? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Julia and Carolee and Shakina. Thank you so much for that beautiful meditation. I connected with it so much. Like, from childhood, I've been connected with the ocean, and it was, it was the calmness of it and the power of it, and it was just a great meditation. Thank you so much. Excellent. So, Sue, would you tell our yeah. listeners where you're calling from and how Julia and I could be of assistance to you tonight? I'm calling from Boyertown, Pennsylvania. I just turned 65 in numerical age on July 4th. Um, <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, but I'm so excited and so grateful to be a participating caller tonight. It's great. I'm so happy. Um, I have been, I have, I am manifesting something really huge. The biggest thing I've manifested so far in my life and in my awakened life and I can feel the power of it and I can hear the reassurance coming from above from my son who passed away two years ago from the angels from creator from the universe from everyone it's in my dreams it's in my awakeness that it's mine it's happening it's yours don't worry but the human part of me, I just still feel this little bit that's trying to block it or, or maybe blocking it. And I wish I could release that. You know, I'm, I don't usually let that come into play, ego. I, I'm okay. I've come to a point where I'm pretty good at, you know, quieting that. But for some reason, I think because it's so big that. All right, so that's that's okay. So there's there's a couple things that are going on, and where I'm being guided is we're going to go to your root, your foundation. Yes. And what we want to do is we want to solidify that with divine trust. Okay. So that the pieces you don't know, that you really trust that it's all going to really fall into place, that yes. it's just going to be really anchored. So just just I just want you to see like those bricks of of trust coming into your foundation and really really giving you stability and solidifying that divine energy within you. Okay. Now, so I want you to bring your consciousness to your womb. Okay. 
Okay. And can you feel, see, and know that you're there? Yes. Okay. And I want you to imagine a beautiful column of light coming from your womb and connecting up to your heart. Okay. Okay. And then it's going from your heart to your third eye. Okay. Okay, years and years ago, we severed our connection from our heart and our mind, and we also severed it, women did, we severed it from our womb, and our womb is where we create, okay, it is the dark space, it is, you know, the black hole of the universe, it is our connection to the goddess, so this connecting it now of the womb and the heart is super powerful for you for bringing forward what it is that's coming, making my hairs rise on my body, okay, that's a good sign. Me too, (laughs) me too. (laughs) Yeah, it's your confirmation that all is happening. And so with that connection back in place, your divine feminine aspect is becoming stronger and stronger. For she was hurt too and severed. And now we're bringing that masculine and feminine into balance, which is divinely perfect for what's going to be happening for you and humanity. And so we are grateful for that. The one thing I'm seeing, though, is all around you is a big petticoat skirt. Okay, and this this is representing an aspect of you that had to go along with the rules of the time. Okay, so you see how the outfit has like layers and layers of confinement for a woman. I literally used to dress up like that as a child. Okay, so isn't it fun how spirit talks to us? Yes. (laughs) So we're going to do two things here. We're going to release the petticoat so that it releases all of the constraining uh, false programming around you about what a woman should be and how she should listen and be quiet and be good, and we're letting all of that go, you know, from your past lives, from the programming that's within you. But we're also going to go to your inner child then, to the age. What is the age of when you were wearing these type clothing? Six. Six, okay. So we're going to go to six. And I want you to be in your heart and go to your safe and sacred space. And just let me know when you're there. Okay. Okay. And you're going to turn your head to the right, and you're going to see your little six-year-old coming towards you. And I just want you to tell her that she can take all that clothing off and she can run naked all around this beautiful space that you're in (laughs) and that you will join her, that you're a wild woman, that you're free and that she can be free and that all women can be free. We can all be who we truly are. That too is making my hairs rise everywhere. Fun. And I've come to that place in my life where I am who I am, and I'm grateful for that. I'm happy about that. Yeah, always. so let's shed this little piece that's stuck way in the unconscious so that you can be even more. So scoop yeah. her up in your arms and hug her and kiss her and tell her she's perfect. And let her see how you've grown up, oh my how broken you are. Yeah, and just feel that magnificent energy and share it. And then you're going to see her just merge into you, bringing back that part of you that was pushed away. That just happened in an instant. Yeah, it's great because that part, you know, that was all confined, we don't want to feel that. We don't want to be that. So now we're bringing it back. We own it. We saw it. And now we let it be free inside us and we're more whole, more in balance. And I just want you to go up to your third eye and you're wearing this magnificent pair of sunglasses. (laughs) <laughs> they're very large <laughs> they're very decorative we'll call it and you just want to take them off and perhaps toss them in the ocean she knows what to do with them she'll put them yeah. in her treasure chest of her heart and this will allow you to see with some less filtering okay Okay. it's as simple as that we don't even have to identify it that was a gift and we're just letting that wow. go go ahead Julia okay so what I'm seeing so is you ready to for an upgrade of your crystalline wings? Absolutely. So they're your 5D crystalline wings. And I just want you to see, know, or feel them just really emerging and replacing your old wings. And let's allow for gentle, for gentle expansion. My hair, the hairs on my arm could not stand up any farther. They'll come out. Yeah, these it's are so beautiful, beautiful wings. 
the crystal yeah. the crystal filaments it's like depending on how you move they have these beautiful rainbows in it so they're actually going to yeah. make me cry yeah. So these, this is this is your powerful gift, and this is going to let you fly, really fly through the different dimensions, as well as navigate this dimension of this game that we're playing right now on Earth. And with that, I'm also I seeing. Say, go ahead. I'm tired of that game, and I try yeah, but, to disengage as much as possible. But I'm here, so I have to. Yeah, it's it's we it's like it's like you. St- I try to stay out of the game as much as possible too. But we, every once in a while, it's we got to play it. Drink. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm seeing now is I I'm go- I'm being drawn to your feet. And do you remember those shoes that you used to zip up the back of your heel? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm seeing on you. I'm seeing it's like so. It's like I think you're ready to let those go. Because yeah. they're. I think so too. Yeah. Okay, so this is just going to give you, that's going to like take those off and then it's going to allow you to really be, really have your feet naked and bare. And I want you to just vision yourself walking on this beautiful pink sand with this turquoise ocean and just receive through your feet, through those naked feet, all the energies of the sand and the beautiful turquoise waters. Mm -hmm. And just feel that coming up through your whole body. And as that you do that, that pink sand and that beautiful turquoise is f- going into your crystal crystalline wings with it's just little sparkling. more flurries yeah. of those colors. Yep. See that? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, Carly. Okay. You're being given the gift of the silver, blue, violet, fem- feminine lunar healing ray. Are you ready for that? Yes. You know, we just had that magnificent um, energy mm-hmm. come through last night. I'm sure you were yeah, feeling that. Yeah. yeah. And so this is beyond the moon, okay, beyond our planetary moon here. It is the etheric moon, which was once a feminine moon that was blown out of the sky from Atlantis. It is still there. It is just like if you took your leg off, you would still feel it it's because it would have an etheric and emotional um, component to it. So this moon is still there. And so we are receiving this ray. So just allow it to penetrate into the crown. And it is going to be bringing in magnificent balance for us. And we're grateful to you, Sue, for bringing this to us, to all of our listeners. Um, Allowing us to really have this uh, equality between our divine masculine and divine feminine energies within our body. This will assist us. This is a celestial ray. Yes. Just receive that. It's just going to go down through all the chakras, running through our meridian system, through all our organs, glands, bodies, and systems, and all our systems within all our bodies. And then it's just going to be there within us, settling within our energy fields, and we'll be able to share this energy with others as we move around this planet. So we are grateful for the gift of this ray. And thank you, Sue, for bringing that to us. Yes. And when I go for my walk, my my daily walk, I literally hold my arms out and just spread my love and light everywhere. And I I'd hug trees, I touch the grass, I touch everything, you know. It's just That's beautiful. I love to do that. I love to do that. And it has changed. Yeah. I have seen it change people. That used to just kind of look up from their paper on their porch and I'd say hi to them and they wouldn't talk. And now, like a year later, they'll be tapping their foot with their hands on their hips saying, where have you been? And I said, I just took a different route today. Well, I was worried about you. (laughs) So I've seen it work and it's just beautiful. I love it. So your higher self says that it's very grateful for you for spreading grace because that is what you are doing. And the flower here on earth is called the star flower that represents grace. And it is a purple flower with like a red interior. And so just receive this flower into your energy field as a thank you for all that you do. And thank you for calling in, Sue, because on this note, we have to take a short commercial break. And then coming up after the break, we'll be taking our next caller. I'm your host, Julia, with my co-host, Carol Lee, and we are here to call to heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And we are here to facilitate a healing for you. So if you want to give us a call at 866-451-1451, 
We'd love to have you on the show, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experience She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network, and tune in radio as Dr. R.C. will provide thought-provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy EasySense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's EasySense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. And welcome back, everyone. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julian Lee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we had Sue on, and we had a lot of energy move there, and we're grateful to her for all the gifts that were received. Thank you, Sue. And we're going to take our next caller. We have Caitlin on the line. Are you there, Caitlin? Yes, hello. I'm here. Can you hear me? Hi, Caitlin. Yes, I can. Can you let our listeners know where you're calling from and how Julia and I can aid you this evening? I am calling from McCungie, Pennsylvania. And I just want to say thank you to Sue for spreading all of that love in Boyertown. Much needed. Um and thank you, Julia and Carol Lee, for everything and that beautiful meditation. Um, really, really resonated with me right now. But I am calling because um, I've been having these constant, consistent, you know, f- flare-ups, manifest like manifestations in my physical body for uh, about a, almost a year now. And I'm having another one at the moment, and I'm just very... I'm at a point where I'm like, okay, what else needs to be done? How can how else can I listen to my body? What isn't it that I'm not hearing? And it's um, near my root chakra. Um, and the other one was on my leg, and the other one, it's it's basically a cyst slash boil slash any type of like toxic buildup. And the other one's on the back of my neck. Um, and I changed my diet. I've been exercising, drinking lots of water, grounding myself, shielding myself, um, doing the physical things and the metaphysical things. And I'm just seeing if there's anything else that, you know, you think okay. what the next step is and things you guys can yeah. help. Yeah, Carly, I'm getting a hit on this. So I just want to. Yeah, go ahead. So, so what I'm seeing, Caitlin, is this nanotechnology. There's mm. energetic, there's energetic nano, and then there's also physical nano that comes in possibly from the chemtrails and vaccines and everything and, and some other places. So there is, um, you, if, do you do bath soaks? Do you actually get a chance to soak in the tub? I try to do it every like two weeks. Yeah, that's for, fine. But that's my yeah. time, yeah. Yeah, so what that is, the recipe for that, and I'll send you the details of it, and if anybody else wants it, they can just message me, is it's like a quarter cup of borax, a quarter cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of sea salt, and a quarter cup of Epsom salt. 
and then you can just add essential mm-hmm. essential oils and you soak in that and stay in that as long as you can to, to draw that out. They do recommend it a couple times a week if you can and it takes it may take like 3 to 4 weeks to get it all out, but I don't really have a tub so I just actually do a foot soak several times a week. So, you know, if you could do that, that will, might will help with that. But what you can do is I want you to just to look inside your body because I know you can do this. And I want you to see just by little lights, all the nanotechnology, the 3D physical nanotechnology that's within your body in those areas of your body that you're talking about. And let me know if you see anything that's lit up. Um, yeah, my throat. Okay, so what... Okay, so you do so you can see it. So I just want you to do it. So what you do is we want to deactivate it now. So see it deactivate so the light will go out. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is until it comes all the way out till it's out of your system, you just want to make sure you go in there and you can deactivate it like you know every 12 hours until the bot the soaks pull it out, if that makes sense. Because I found out that they can reactivate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For the physical ones. Now let's look at the energetic ones. So do you see how the lights turned off when we deactivated the physical ones? Mm-hmm. Okay. So so you're able to do that, right? I just want to make sure that you're comfortable doing that yourself because I know that you're capable of that. I was capable in just one area. Okay, so That's where is it? Where is it that you're still seeing them lit up? Let's go there. Um, the root chakra, like my. All right, so and... all right, yeah. So let's just go in there, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in your healing teams, and we're going to talk to your innate body, and we're going to ask that this this nanotechnology be deactivated throughout your whole root chakra, and your hips. Mm, yeah, I feel that. Okay. And really let that go. And what we can do is we're going to ask for for a wash to come through, a liquid golden wash to wash this through, all this physical nano as well as the energetic nano to wash through so that it will expel out through, you know, your, your bodily functions. And then if you can do a foot soak, it'll draw the rest out through your feet. So let's just do that as well and just see that wash, just washing that nano down. You see that happening? Yeah. Okay. So, Carly, go ahead. Okay, Caitlin. So, I'm seeing a past life, and it's a life where you were a young man with a family, and everyone got what we would call a plague, okay? And the family died, but you survived, and there is an energy of that that is being oppressed and pushed down into your deep subconscious, and that energy of that being is shattered. Would you like to bring this all back so that you can begin to integrate? Yes. Okay, so can you go into your heart and be in your safe and sacred space? Just let me know when you're there. And I want you to see, feel, or know this young father, this young man. Let me know when you feel or know that he's there. Okay. And I want you to imagine him coming towards you, and he will stand in front of you. And you will place your right hand on his heart, and he will place his right hand on your heart. And you will touch forehead to forehead. This is third eye to third eye. We remember each other. We know who we are. Okay, and he's going to step back. And he knows who you are. You know who he is. We do not have to share words now. And he's going to turn around, and he's going to step backwards and merge with you. And in this merge, that union, that shattered part of you comes back. It no longer needs to be suppressed. We have shed light upon it. We can release this fear, this guilt, this grief, letting it all go so that the physical body doesn't have to continue radiating this out. And then with the nanotechnology on top of it, it was complicated there. That's why you're having a hard time letting it go. So we are grateful for this information that has came forward um, with both these aspects. 
And so, as Julia said, that wash is going to wash over, and we're just going to add a beautiful green light to it. This is uh, the energy of the ocean. It is a green, almost turquoisey color, and it is clearing emotion, healing emotion, integrating emotion, which is what activates these physical things in our body while these lights are this light from the sun is coming on us now and it's been powerful this whole past year and so that is why it keeps coming up keeps coming up wanting to be seen wanting to be known so thank you for bringing that forward tonight we are grateful and on top of that i want you to look at your knees and there are these i don't know they're like little pests that are like you know when you fell as a kid and you always banged your knee up well, it's right there, except they're little tiny, we'll call them little bugs. And we're just going to ask that these all be released at this time and let this go, because it's almost like they're feeding on you. And what it does is it stops you from being able to bend your knees and, and to be flexible and to move forward in flow. And so we're going to just flood with the divine energy of flow and not trying to push things, you know, that divine masculine energy of getting it done. We're just, we're moving back into that feminine energy of relaxing and allowing to come to us what we need. Allowing and allowing us to dance and move in the way that's perfect for the cycles of the reality that we're in. We're just letting that pour all through us, receiving this magnificent gift. Okay. So. Okay, I see upon your third eye a beautiful pearl. And I asked, is this a pearl of wisdom, a gift? And they said yes, but it's also from a sisterhood uh, mystery school. And this mystery school is actually in the, we'll call it the etheric realms in the ashrams. And you are significantly significantly connected to this and there was a mystery school on earth that you were involved in back in Egypt the sisterhood school we'll call it um, and so those energies are being activated within you right now would you like to be more conscious of it and fully receive the gift of it Heck yeah yeah so just imagine on your forehead this magnificent pearl it's dropped down and do you remember how they would have like a hairband it's not a hairband. It's like a thin, beautiful circle with the pearl hanging on it, and the pearl would be on the forehead. Can you imagine that? Do you know what I'm – it's like a beautiful crown, but it's it's around the head. Yeah. And that is there. It is etheric. And it is just a symbol. It is a symbol of this uh, beautiful mystery sisterhood school that you were in, and it is all of the heart. It is all about the divine energies of the heart, re-remembering when we live the reality from our heart and just letting that all pour through you. I'm sure you can feel that where I can. Mm-hmm. How beautiful. Thank you for bringing that to all of us that are listening. We are extremely grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All okay, right. So, Julia. yeah, I'm being, I keep coming back to the knees. And what I see is on the back of the knees, I just see these two, these two hands holding the back of your knees. Like it's like you're trying to move and the hands are keeping you there. So I'm just trying to see, Carly, I'm trying to get a little clarity on where these hands are coming from. Um, it's coming from a, what I like to call a clean on energy. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I was just trying to identify if I knew if I could figure out. I knew it was a Klingon. I was like, okay, well, where's this? Is this like from her past? And that's what I'm, I'm getting. It. It's a hit from her past. So, Caitlin, let's go back to when you were ten. That's what I'm seeing. Ten years old. So I just want you to see yourself at ten years old. Okay. And did, did and did you have any incidents? around that age, like with, it had to do with water or a swimming pool or anything um, like it. My uncle tried to drown me in my uh, pool okay. at age, but I'm not sure if it's age 10, but it was well, around that, eight, that, 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 10. Okay, so 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 what I'm seeing is so let's just cut any cords of attachment between you and your uncle. So I want you to go and see that eight to ten year old, and we're going to have to take a short commercial break. But I'm going to follow up with you on this. So on that note, 
Um, we're going to take that short commercial break, and coming up after the break, we'll be taking our final caller. I'm Julia with my co-host, Kara Lee, and we are here to Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern. Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current and concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. And welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julia and Carol Lee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we had on Caitlin, who had a beautiful healing, and we were so grateful to be able to be a part of that. And we are thrilled that we have our guest meditator, Shakina, is coming on to have a facilitated reading, and we are excited to share energy with her. Are you there, Shakina? Here and now. Perfect. Do you have anything you would like Julia and I to look at, um, or would you just like a general reading, whatever it is that you desire? You know, I'm graced and blessed with healing and also 42 years of doing my own spiritual work. So I think what I'm going to do is just see what y'all ladies divine for me as a message, if that's okay. And and where are you Perfect. where are you located? Where are you call where are you ca- calling in from? I'm in Nelson, British Columbia, Canada, which is just right above the sort of Idaho Washington border crossing. Okay, excellent. All right. All right. I am seeing a magnificent spiral around you. And so we're just going to bring in the energy of the Blue Star Ascension Angels as they move all around in this magnificent spiral, doing the dance of divine order. And the message here is about staying steadfast on your spiritual goal, following your path, really being on your soul quest. You're being given the breath of life, so just receive that gift right into your crown, into your heart, allowing you to access the Sapphire Stargate in a beautiful way, a more easy, subtle way, bringing them here into this reality. Now you're just going to see and imagine a five-petal lotus flower that's suspended from the Orion stars. And you're just going to allow this to enter into the crown, really bringing the beautiful energy of the sapphire ray through your heart. And letting that radiate out. Okay, go ahead, Julia. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So I'm seeing chocolate-covered raisins. Mm -hmm. 
So <laughs> is, was this like a favorite as a childhood or a favorite still now? Or where is this coming from is what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I've always not been a fan of raisins. I like the juicy grape, uh, but I love chocolate. <laughs> okay. So the raisins right. could be like the Pleiades, because the Pleiadians are this, uh, described as a cluster of grapes. Okay. So I'm wondering if that's a connection. Well, let's just see where this takes me, because it's like it's like what it is is I'm seeing it in your second chakra is where this is so it's like i'm getting it's like an early childhood thing so maybe somebody forced you to eat these (laughs) it's like (laughs) interesting um Um, yeah it's okay it's 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 just i'm just seeing so i'm just getting we can clear that energy so mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're just going to bring in this beautiful liquid gold and it's just going to dissolve those for you so that it's just going to let your second chakra shine that beautiful bright vibrant orange Mm -hmm. Without any, without any interference of these raisins, the chocolate covered, and it's like it's really just a combination because you love the chocolate, you like grapes, but you don't like the raisins. So it's like we're just—they're telling me that it can go. Okay. So, Carolee, mm-hmm. did you get anything else about those? Because I was. No, but I got an implant on the back of the head, right where the ponytail goes. Okay. Oh, cool! I so just put my hair in the ponytail. Like... What'd she say? I just put my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. Just confirming. Yep, yep. So this is related to that second chakra. Or I wouldn't be seeing it while she's talking about the raisins and mm-hmm. so forth. Um, mm-hmm. So I tapped in and I said, what is this? It's very ancient. It's 45,000 years old. Um, you really do want to let it go because these ancient implants that we have control can control our mind, our brain, if they get returned on. And they get turned mm-hmm. on when we achieve certain levels in this reality. So would you like to just release that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so just envision. It looks like a steel plate in the back of your head, although that's not what it looks like, but that's how it's showing itself. So it's kind of thick. Okay, so we're just going to release any vows, contracts, commitments, Texas curses, spells, covenants, and notes that have locked this in place, letting all of that go so that this can be released. And we're calling upon your healing teams to release this in the correct and divine order with no booby traps or sabotage and she knows exactly her higher self knows exactly what to do with her higher healing teams to release this and any others that we are not seeing and all parts of it all the way down to her root but including whatever's going on in the second chakra and we're grateful to be able to see this to release this okay Uh So it's related that, you know, that second chakra is that big creative chakra. And so um, there's something big coming beyond what you're already doing, and that has the potential to activate that implant. So it's good that you released it, and you will no longer have to have whatever the repercussions of that would be, and you can move forward in a lighter, fun way for what is that's coming. Okay. Also, I'm seeing a colander, and when I see this, there's something in a way that you are losing energy that you're unaware of. Do you see where this is, Joy? I see it in the solar plexus. Do you see it anywhere yeah, else? Yeah, I see it in the back, the lower back. So it's between the solar plexus and that second chakra. There's like, um, I just see all the little holes from the colander. I just see that. Yeah, this is old, old too. Um, so, you know, we're 90 five percent unconscious you know and those of us that have been doing the work might even be a little bit better and might be 85 percent unconscious but we have so much still deep 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 and part of this is um very old but also off planet i'm guessing we should just remove the colander because i'm not getting anything else so are you ready to let this go so your energy's not leaking absolutely Mm -hmm. absolutely yeah and so we're just going to be in our safe and sacred space and pull this out and since you love the water so much give it to mother earth she says oh this is a great toy it's like a sand sifter she's going to play with that (laughs) and we let her have that yeah Mm -hmm. that's probably connected since i said sand sifter to something from this lifetime when you were very little and so we don't really have to go there because we're releasing it all. We're integrating this energy and we're closing off that drain because we can see it and we can. Mm-hmm. And there we go. And you're being given the gift of violet. So, um, 
I have a flower book here, but I don't know if it has that in it. So look, I'll look that up real quick, and you go where you're going, Julia, and I'll see what the Okay. So, Shakina, what I'm seeing is there's three dolphins here for you. Mm. And what they're asking to do is they're actually asking to merge with you. Mm-hmm. So you just want to see them lining up. They're all in a row. And as, as, you, as each one comes, they're putting their forehead to your forehead. Mm. And now they're just merging all their chakras, their energy fields with you one at a time. There's the first one. Mm. And here comes the second one, forehead to forehead, lining the chakras, your energy field, your light bodies, merging the second. And now that third dolphin's here. Forehead, chakras, energy field, light bodies, and feel that. How's that feel for you? Uh, I just got a flood of tears swelling in my eyes, just bringing me right back to Muriel, right back home. Okay, because those were those were all aspects of you. Mm. but in that form. So it was all just higher aspects of you in the dolphin form. So, mm. all right. How you, how all you right. feel? And the violet, <laughs> the violet represents spiritual wisdom, faithfulness, and humility. So just receive that gift. And Julia, we're just going to realign her and you reboot her because a lot happened there. Okay. So we're going to complete. So we want to empty your trash, your recycle bin, run your defrag. And reboot Bring 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and recalibrate mm-hmm. your DNA. And on that note, I want to thank all our callers. I want to thank Sue and Caitlin, and I want to thank you, Shakina, for leading that beautiful meditation mm-hmm. and then allowing us to play in your energies. It was a lot of fun. For more about what Carolee and I offer, please visit our websites, com and juliastubi.com. And thank you for tuning in to the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio and listening to A Call to Heal this evening. And remember, you are the radiant one. So stay heart-centered and connected to Earth and your infinite awareness. Much love to all. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thanks. You've been listening to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carolee and Julia. Join us each week and be the best you can be on the next episode of Carolee and Julia's A Call to Heal. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.